So you're sitting at home tonight asking yourself, what can I actually do to help fix this mess? It's easy. Get out and vote. The people that are in positions of power deciding when to prosecute you for a crime and the judges deciding your punishment, those people are put in place by you. And Black Voters Matter was at the summit stressing to people just how simple the voting process can be. We have organizations that we partner with that will pick you up, take you to vote, give you something to eat on your way there and take you back to wherever you want to go, whether if it's home, work or whatever. So there's so many ways that can help make this so easy and accessible. People just need to be connected to an agency, organization, a local church within their community or even Black Voters Matter so that we can help you with that. And let me tell you something, what's hard is interacting with police that are racist, that are abusive, that are traumatized in our community, even more so that the prosecutors, the judges, the people who are deciding our freedom, that's what's hard. And what can roll that stuff back is the vote, the power of your vote. I think most people don't understand, especially at a local level, how much their power has in their vote. When you talk about city and county, where the resources come down that really meets you in your living room, that decides if you have a house, a roof, utilities, water, uh, and heat and electricity, how the vote really is impacted. If you are trying to get from point A and B and you need public transportation, child care, all those things that matter. People haven't connected how representation really matters in their day-to-day -day life because they're not checking for their local official, their state and, and federal elected officials. So, and they're not checking for us when they should be writing checks to us. Our children who are being incarcerated at a much higher rate than their white counterparts. That's what's hard. Voting is simple. It only takes a few minutes and you can get help in doing it. If you need someone to help you read, to translate, to get there, to get your, your vote, we can do that. There's support all around to help you do that. But not voting is not an option. Now we have some more helpful information for you. You can check right now if you're registered to vote by visiting your local county's website and looking for the voter registration tab. If you're not and want some in-person help, you can register at most public libraries or your county's election office. And if you're still confused, no worries. Simply Google voting help in my area and you'll find plenty of groups out there like the one we just heard from. They're more than willing to walk you through the process and don't forget being able to vote is your legal right meaning you must be given time off from work to take part in the voting process don't let anyone stand in the way of you exercising your right to vote now at the end of the day voting is the easiest and most impactful way to get people that align with your values into positions of power so enough with the excuses you're either part of the solution or part of the problem which is it going to be?